friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. Today I am going to show you my way, because you know I always put a little twist on stuff, of to do a perfect flat circle. Because this is the base, like the starting point for most of my hats and a lot of the plushies that I have coming up shortly. Because Evie has been on me to start making plushies. Hexagon has a time and place, absolutely. It looks kind of cool sometimes, but not when you're trying to make a perfect circle. So we don't want to do this. This is the typical way, where all of your increases end up being in the same place. Not cool. We don't want that. We want to stagger our increases. This one, as you can see right here, is not flat. It has a poof in the middle, and I just hate that. This one is flat. And I have a little trick in order to do that. So we're going to make this guy today. So we're going to start with a magic circle. I have a video on how to do this very quickly. It's only a couple minutes long. If you want to see that one, it's really easy. So you just go under the front, grab the back, twist towards you, grab that, and pull right through. And now you have a perfect circle. And now we're going to get started. So in my magic circle, I want to do eight single crochets and I'm going to mark the first one so I don't have to keep counting and I don't lose any stitches. So there's number one, number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. And there's the fun part, the magic part of the magic circle. You can take your little tail end from the beginning and you pull and now it's closed. You can pull that a little bit tighter in just a bit. So right now it's closed up pretty well. And into our mark stitch for that's round one. Round two we want to put two single crochets in every stitch and that is an increase for round two. We're going to increase from eight to sixteen. So there's my first stitch remarker and two. Two in this stitch, you will end up with 16. That's our sequence all the way around. Two single crochets in every stitch. And there's my last stitch, gets two single crochets. And we just increased from eight in our magic circle up to 16. I'm going to pull this a little tighter now. So now our magic circle is closed. Here we go, just a tiny circle. Round three, there is going to be a single crochet, move my stitch marker, and then an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. So the next stitch would be a single crochet. The next stitch would be an increase, which is two single crochets, and that's our sequence all the way around. A single crochet and two single crochets in the same stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. There's my last two stitches. There's a single crochet. And then my very last stitch gets two single crochets. And we've just increased from 16 to 24. And now here is my trick. For my round four, remember I just did a single crochet and then the increase, single crochet increase. For round four, we are going to do three single crochets in before our, move my stitch marker, three single crochets before our increase. One, two, three, and then an increase. And if you're noticing, I skipped the part where it was two single crochets in between increases. I skipped that part because that is how we get rid of this bump. I don't like that bump. So again, one, two, three, and an increase, which is two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and three. Whoopsie, three, and an increase. And that's our way all the way around. Here's my last sequence. There's one, two, 
three single crochets and my very last stitch gets two for an increase. So we just increased from 24 to 30. So that was the sneaky part to get rid of this poof. What I've just done here is the same thing as if you did six in your magic circle and then increases to 12 and then increase to 18 and then increase to 24. I skipped one of those so we don't get the poof. But we still have that same count because now we're at 30. Isn't that sneaky? Now how do we fix this hexagon thing? Because it looks kind of cool, but not if you want it to be round like this. So we need to stagger our increases so they're not always in the same place. That's what makes this hexagon makes it kind of poofy. Because they're all getting increased in the exact same spot. So we want to stagger our increases around a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to split up our increase. We're going to do half on this side and half at the end. So we're going to start half of it here. So we're going to do one single crochet and two single crochets. There's half of my increase for this round because there's four single crochets in between each increase. So we're doing half of it right now. So we just did two. Now we're going to do our increase. Two single crochets in the same stitch. Now we'll do four. One, two, three, and four. And then an increase which is two in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, and an increase of two in the same stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around until we get to the very end. There's my last set. There's one, two, three, four and an increase and then you see we have two stitches left. Those two stitches are the last part of our round because we started over here with two and here's the other two to make a four in between each increase. Boom. No poof and we're not going to have a hexagon. It's going to look just like this. It'll be a perfect little circle. So that was round five. We had to stagger them out a little bit. So we just staggered out our increase. Now in this next row, which is round round six, we are going to do five single crochets in between increases. So we'll start with five. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. Two in the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and an increase. And that's the sequence all the way around. There's my last sequence. There's one, two, three, four, five and my last increase which is two in the same stitch. So you've probably done that one many many times when you're making a circle. But the bigger it gets the more hexagony it gets. Bigger and bigger and bigger and it's more pointy and more pointy every time it looks like a spider web. So our next round our increases have six stitches in between each increase so that's when it's time to split and stagger our increase. So we are going to do one, two, and three, which is half of our stitches between increases. And now it's time for our increase, two in the same stitch. Remember, we're going to finish that sequence of six on the other side. So now it's time for six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and an increase of two in the same stitch. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, and an increase until you get almost to the end. There's my last set. There's six single crochets in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's an increase. And then you see I have three stitches left. One, two, three, which is the second half of our sequence of six. We started with three and we're going to end with three. And that makes our increases not stay all in the exact same spot. So when I have an odd number in between increases, like right now, the next one would be seven stitches in between increases, then you just start like normal. So we'll just do seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two in the same for our increase. And that's the sequence all the way around. Seven single crochets. And an increase all the way around. Five, six, seven, and my very last stitch gets two for the increase. And that was an odd number of seven in between our increases. So when it's an odd number, you just start. When it's an even number, we want to split our stitches in between increases at the very beginning. So the next row, of course, would be eight in between increases. So we're going to do, there's my first stitch. We're going to do the first four here and the last four, the other four on the other side. So there was one, two, three, four, and now it's time for our increase. And now we're going to do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, in the same stitch. And that will continue all the way around until you're almost, almost to the end. Six, seven, and eight stitches, and an increase of two in the same stitch. And now you will see the last four stitches that complete this segment of eight right here. One, two, three, and four. And that's all you need to do. And it stays nice and flat. The bigger it gets, the flatter it will be. This has been taken up through round 11, up to an increase of 10 in between each one. Every round, you just add one in between your increases. So this one was eight, the next row would be nine, the next would be 10, and that one would get split. Then there would be 11, and then 12 would get split, six and six. 13, 14 would get split, seven, seven. So it's really, really simple, but you end up with a really perfect little circle and it stays flat. That's the big deal to me. I just don't like that little poof. I know most people probably wouldn't notice it, but it bothers the heck out of me. So I put my little twist on my perfect circle and this works great if you're working with really tiny things too. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.